Building on the success of the Print and Cut Manager, Cadlink has developed a phenomenal successor to this product called VPM. VPM, or Visual Production Manager, to give it its full title, encompasses the strengths of our previous products together with innovative new features that will enhance our users' experience and dramatically improve efficiency and productivity. So let's get started and take a look at a few of the new features of VPM. From the outset, the steps to set up your chosen devices are made simple with the Install Printer Wizard. Here I can select the printer to be used from a list of manufacturers. Now from here I'm simply going to follow this device installation process, guided every step of the way by the wizard. I have the Cadlink printer's DVD in my drive and so the required drivers and printer packages can be installed from that location. Ok, I can now select the port to be used with my chosen device. And in this case, because it's TCP IP, I'm also going to put the IP address in of my printer. And I can select an initial print mode. It's also possible to set up the media width, as well as set any preferences for margins. OK, clicking next will present me with some choices for how I would like nesting in VPM to be handled. Nesting is one of the exciting new features of this package, and I will be showing you over it in more detail shortly. So for now, I'm just going to leave these settings as they are and click next. Finally, in this setup process, I can choose how to handle my job scheduling. This is the first of many options that simply are a case of personal choice. For each of these three categories, I'm going to leave them on hold. Now, all the settings we have made can be adjusted at any time to suit your preferred workflow. This initial setup process is just a simple guide to get you up and running.